Let's talk about how we can shift the graph of a function to the up direction, to the right direction, and the down direction, and of course the left direction. So here we are given this function f of x is equal to x squared. We are going to see and pay attention to how to write an equation that will associate this shiftment, these four directions. Okay? So notice that this is just a parabola and we have the vertex right here at 0, 0. And let me begin by showing you guys. What if I want to take this parabola, I want to shift this graph right here toward the right. So you see this is why I'm setting up um, the graph paper like this because I want to move toward the right. It's just a plain video game. You press the right button. I want to shift this. Let's say I want to shift this toward the right two units. So you see, originally the vertex is at zero, zero. I want to move this toward the right two units. That means the new vertex is going to be at here, two comma zero. So let me indicate that right here. And then the graph of course will stay the same, right? Because we're just doing a movement. So let me just keep the same graph here. So this is how the graph will look like. And here is the important part. How can we write an equation that will make this happen? Well, let's talk about it. When x is 0, you see that we plug in straight into this x, then we get 0 squared, and the y value is 0, right? And that's how we get the vertex. This time, the x value of the vertex is 2. So keep in mind, I have and the parentheses, let me just open parentheses first, we have x, and then I want to have something happens inside to the second power. Well, inside here, I want to have zero altogether, so that I raise to the second power, I still end up with zero for the y value. And then the trouble is, here the x value we know is two. I want to plug in two into this x, and I want the whole thing to be zero. So what do I need right here? Well, it's okay, because I can just subtract 2. You see, this is the positive 2. Positive 2 subtract 2 will give us 0, right? And altogether, we will have 0 squared, which is very similar to the original situation. So you see, I am subtracting 2 directly to the x, instead of this parentheses, and then raised to a second power. This is how I can shift this graph right here toward the right to units. And in notation, I will write this down right here, this is f of x, let me write it down, f of x, and as I said, we are subtracting 2 directly toward the x. So you see f of x minus 2 in this notation, and of course the function is x squared, that's how we end up with the uh, parentheses x minus 2 to the second power. So whenever we are subtracting 2 directly, <laughs> whenever you are subtracting 2 directly toward the x, we end up you know, move the graph however many times toward the right. Well, let's do toward the left. I want to move this graph toward the left, let's say two units. So I will end up the vertex right here with the same parabola. So let me just draw it like this, okay? How can we write an equation for this parabola then? Well, let's talk about once again x and then something inside happens and then square but this time the x value is negative 2 for the vertex i want to plug into this x value what should i put here so that altogether will be zero we have to have plus 2 in this case right because negative 2 inside here plus 2 it will give us zero zero square we will have the y value to be zero so whenever we are adding a number directly toward the x. We shift the graph to the left. So let me write it down the function notation. That will be f of x, and in our case here is plus 2. And then we will end up with x plus 2 squared. All right? So this is the left and also the right movement. This is tricky because when you see the new vertex is negative 2, we tend to see this is negative 2 right here, but it's not. It's the opposite. When you have x plus 2 for the equation, you actually have to move the graph toward the left because you have to plug in negative 2 so that you can end up with 0 and then square. All right? And now let's move on to the up and down situations. Let's do the up first. So this is the parabola. Originally, it's at 0, 0 for the vertex. This time, I want to shift up. Just say 1 unit, okay? 
because I run out of space right here. So let me just shape up for a unit. So I will keep the same shape of the graph and the graph should look like this, right? And this time, what will happen is that we are adding, well, we have the x squared, that's the original graph, but then we are adding one after the x squared so that we can bring up the graph. The y value, we can bring it up one unit. We add one after the x squared, okay? And in notation for the function, we will have first the f of x and then we close the parentheses. We are not adding nor subtracting anything directly toward the x because we don't want to move left or right. But I just want to shift up, so I just add one after that. And then we will be able to move the graph up whichever many units. In this case is one unit, so this is what we end up with. All right? At the end, of course, let's bring the graph down. Let's say I want to bring it down one unit, which now it will be right here for the vertex, right? We'll keep the same shape, so we'll end up to have a graph looks like this, right? Not the best graph I know, but then you get the idea. The goal is to understand how to write equations. Anyways, in this case, we want to drag the graph down one unit, so it's very similar. We want to keep the x squared, okay? And then we will just subtract one. We subtract one after the x squared. So we can bring this down one unit. And in the function notation, that will be f of x. And then minus one afterward. And that will give us the x squared minus one. The goal for this video is that you need to know how these movements happen and how to write equations based on these movements, okay, shiftments or movements. And if you are given one of this, such as this one, can you make a graph based off with the parent function? That's the fireworks. This is July 3rd, but then, <laughs> yeah, that's the fireworks. Anyways, uh, check out the next video. I will show you another example on writing the equations for shifting the graph.